I want to take you back to that breaking news. An overnight house fire on the east side of Buffalo, not far from ECMC. Fire crews are still on the scene right now. So I want to take you live to 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilon Nugent. She's joining us now from that street with the latest. Twilon, what information can you give us now? Yeah, Katie, fire investigators are currently on scene. They're on the second floor looking for what may have been the cause of this fire. And we have been told at this point that it seems like the cause of the fire is accidental. Now, we do know two people were transported to ECMC by AMR ambulance crews, and one of those was a 13-year-old girl. The 13-year-old girl was rescued from the second floor back bedroom by fire crews. She was the only one at the time that was upstairs rescued by crews. Everyone else in the home was self-evacuated and already out by the time that crews got here. But there was a lot of fire when Buffalo Fire got here just after that call. And they say it was pretty difficult because firefighters first went in without a hose line. We talked to the chief just a little while ago. Listen to him on what conditions were like. It's a very dangerous condition because you don't have the protection of a hose line. You're working uh, walking through fire, crawling through fire, looking for people, and that's exactly what Letter 7 did. Yeah, and it was really tough for fire crews as they were looking for that girl. But again, they did rescue a 13-year-old girl from the back bedroom. She was the only one that was rescued. Everyone else was self-evacuated when crews got here. But now the investigation is ongoing into how this fire started. Just to reiterate what we know, two people transported to ECMC via AMR ambulance crews, a 13-year-old girl being one of them. We don't know the extent of her injuries at this point, but we have been told that it seems the cause of this fire is accidental. We'll update you as soon as we learn more information. Live on Buffalo's East Side, I'm Twilon Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank goodness crews were able to get to that 13-year-old girl. Twilon, thank you very much. This morning, the